Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Tale of the Twin Moons, where we are here with an absolutely exhausted Parsley, who is just a few moments away from potentially dying after she just fought off the lead alpha female and one of the males from the Dark Lake pack. We did manage to go ahead and take over key parts of their territory and drive them out of their traditional den area, thus completing Parsley's life quest and potentially driving the Dark Lake pack out forever if we can just maintain this little area around Buffalo Fork Pass. It turns out you cannot take this area over like you guys were telling me. So instead, we have made it so that this, 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 and this hex all count as the Dark Lake pack's core den territory, their traditional heritage like den territory. And we drove them out of it, thought we were in the clear, and then almost got killed by the stranger wolves who just showed up. Oh my gosh. So we're gonna go ahead, we're going to let an absolutely exhausted Parsley sleep. Little Basil is still ill. We are waiting for Hawk to be able to put on those last 0.8 pounds. And if he can just do that, then we will be able to go ahead and possibly have our Chonker boy Basil survive. But we're getting so close, you guys. I just don't even know what to do. Basil is so close. We let him rest and tried to give him enough sleep and it seemed to help his illness. But like Hawk is just so small and he hardly eats. Ah, and poor like, oh, poor, poor Parsley. She's almost dead. We almost had her die, which just makes, I just, that would have been the end of the Dark Moon lineage. And that would have solved the question on if we should have two packs again for the next generation. Personally, I've been loving that and have been toying actively with the idea of doing just that. But oh my gosh. We almost lost her, friends. Look, she's still super wounded, and now we're hungry? And, like, oh my gosh, how's little Basil doing? It rained all day, it's overcast. Hawk is, oh, Basil's 22 pounds, and he, like, just needs to wait for Hawk to gain, like, 0.5 more pounds. He's at 35% health. Oh my gosh. Hawk, I wonder if one more nap might do that. I wonder if one more good solid sleep is what we need to do. Have we lost our territory, by the way? It, it's clear the Dark Lake pack is throwing themselves into the territory very hardcore. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Should we? Okay. I think we need to eat and maybe mark our territory. I think Hawk already ate and he's the one that we're most concerned about. We need to go ahead and feed... Azure and Parsley, they're, they're gonna be the most scarred. Like Achilles and Persephone basically got out of that with their beautiful golden fur hardly ruffled. And Parsley is the most scarred and battered of all of the wolves I think we have ever worked with. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get all the puppies tucked away, nice and safe. And then we're going to try to go down we're going to head towards the southwest to secure this territory before Parsley does have the end of, of the pack one way or the another so that we can have more spots. But also, I mean, I'm not letting Dark Lake Pack have any of our spots. I don't know about you guys, but this is this has gotten really serious. And also we will look for some food because she needs to keep her strength up. I can't believe how wounded we've become, you know? All right, let's strengthen this spot, too. Oh, it's so dark. You know, I, I am not a fan of hunting at night like this because I can't see where we're going or what we're doing. The Crevice Lake pack apparently has been all over the place. Rude. But, wow, there's some bunnies really dashing all over the place, too. Okay, maybe let's look for this mule deer. That might be the easiest solution for us at this point. Just follow the mule deer. Try to find some food. And we'll give a double howl. Because we need Azure to come and help us out. All right, and the mule deer weren't here recently, but if they have any fawns with them, that's something easy that we can grab. We can maybe eat a couple of them, take one back to the pups. Darn, and this is not in the direction I wanted to go, but I really don't want to leave Basil alone for too long. 
All right, is this where the fawns are? It looks like the mule deer split for just a minute, but then they came together. And there's a lot of mule deer here, so I'm hoping that we're on the track of a good big herd. Okay, and Azor's right behind us. I know the rabbit just ran in front of us too, but we're good. Oh man, I can't believe we almost died last time, guys. Partially, she's legitimately the most scarred out of all of the wolves that we have had so far. Okay, all right. And as much as I really, 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 really want to care about keeping as much of our territory controlled as possible, I'm just, I'm, I'm actually getting more progressively concerned about Basil. All right, I think I see them in the distance up here. Let's go. All right, there we go. There's a little one right here. Okay, we actually need to be a little careful of the mama kicking us because we have so many we have so many bruises we might die to a baby mule deer that would that would not be how I want parsley is like moment in history to go down there we go Phew. okay and then let's come pick this up and we'll go back home there we go that wasn't a terribly bad hunt, but I can't believe that Parsley is so bruised and battered that we almost legitimately might have about died to a baby mule deer this time around. What a story she has had, you guys. Just what an amazing story. It has been such a, a wonderful journey to be able to watch both the dark and the, the dawn moon pack with both of you really once the pups start getting old enough and once you get to this stage just you can't predict anything dens flooded we've been fighting the dark lake pack non-stop partially i really think that i don't know if she'll make it past this you know what i mean all right here we go little ones your mama needs to go ahead and have a bit of a bite of this because we already had some other carcasses they could eat but I think that that should top her off. Azur, he also needs to eat. Basil's totally full. Hawk just needs 0.4 more on weight, you guys. Just 0.4 more. Thorin is off to explore. He is very independent that way. Come on out, Hawk. Come on. Ah, oh, dang it. I keep not calling them out and just rolling on my back instead. All right, and then Parsley's going to need to lay down because I feel like she's just really... She's doing her best. Alet's such a sweetie, too. I feel like he and Basil have the most gentle personalities this time around. All right, Hawk, are you eating? Please tell me you're eating. I will be overjoyed if you will please. He has eaten his one tiny bite for his tiny tummy. Ugh. All right. Let's go ahead and take a little nap with Basil. We'll let him get a little more food. Basil, where are you going? Stay near me. Where are you going, little one? All right, we'll pick him up, keep him close, and then we're gonna go ahead and sleep. This is a bit of a risk, but either Hawk will go ahead and put on the last of that weight. And Parsley has really seemed to start to get to the point where she understands Basil's very sick now that he has gotten progressively weaker, even though he's gotten so big, those long legs, almost ready to be a juvenile wolf. Come on, Basil. Come on, buddy. <gasps> we just need Hawk to put on like 0.1 more pounds. Maybe he's actually, I feel like he's actually taking things a little bit more seriously now that his, his brother is so sick. Come on, Hawk. Come on. Oh my gosh. I think we're about to do it, friends. I think we are about to do it. And Parsley is actually healing up a whole bunch of her, her bruises. Come on, little Hawk. Come on, buddy. All right, I know I distracted him with the celebratory howl, but we're so close. Any minute now. This is this is, this is the last moment of victory. Please, Hawk. The last moment of victory with our pack. Parsley has managed to survive more battles and more drama than I ever predicted she could get herself into. 
Azor has been a mate who really has lived up to Meadow and Genesis's loyalty to one another from the get-go. Hawk and Thorn are absolutely ridiculously playful and full of trouble. Please, Hawk, please. We're just waiting on that one last little bit. That's all. We're just waiting on the last little bit. And please tell me we haven't lost any of that territory. So we're literally hot. Come on, please. I'm begging you. All right. I'm going to pick him up. I'm going to drag him over here. Basically shove his nose in the food. Come on, Hawk. You have such a buffet. There's moose. There's rabbit. Well, it looks like somebody ate the rabbit. There's moose and fawn. Oh no, there's coyotes coming. Whew. Okay, I saw them. Alright. Alright. Owlet's coming to see what's going on. Basil, hawk, yes, eat! Eat, hawk! <laughs> Oh my word. All right, Basil, how you doing? 20%. This is literally like life or death for your brother, Hawk. Stop playing with Thorin. I know you're super playful, but I'm begging you. Just eat for crying out loud. <gasps> okay, we're literally just waiting on this last little bit of food. Meanwhile, <gasps> yes! I am weak with relief right now, you guys. I am so weak with relief. And Azor is dragging Marigold back because she ran off. <laughs> Marigold of the cursed name. Oh, my word. Holy cow. We've done it. We have done it. We managed to make it, you guys. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay, so there we go. We have managed to keep them alive. Little Basil is howling. He's going to outgrow the sickness, we'll say. He made it to 22 pounds, and so did Marigold the third before Hawk actually caught up with the rest of the pack. We went ahead and we were at Moss Tree, Sandpaw, and the Peak Den and Hidden Feather rendezvous site. Do you guys remember having to carry the sick little thorn all the way up into this rendezvous site? Wow. Parsley, parsley, parsley. I want to just say a huge thank you to you guys. Look at Hawk Chase, everybody, for going ahead and joining us on this journey because Parsley and Azor's story, while not as dramatic as Achilles' story in some regards, was also one of the most unique tales I think we have ever told with our wolves. And now the time has come, friends. Now the time has come. Next time, we will have to go ahead and we will look at all of the puppies who survived, all 12 of them this time, from both the Dawn Moon and the Dark Moon. And we're going to go ahead and see who might become the heir. Traditionally, I have always done a poll and allow you guys to go ahead and vote. But we'll have to see if I might have a little bit of a twist in mind for next time. Especially considering how there is a little bit of... Um, Hmm, drama, you might say, over Jalan, the only white wolf in either of the litters who might or might not become the heir of the Dawn Moon. So we're going to look into all of that. We're going to see if we can find a solution that will make all of us, including myself, quite happy. Oh my gosh, look at this family portrait. I am so proud of these two. And I just love their stories. It's been such a unique and wonderful opportunity to watch both groups go through and, and get a chance to go ahead and just experience this world in two completely and totally different ways. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Azor and for Parsley, who have done their part and have finished up Generation 2, the Dark Moon Pack side. And uh, get ready for Generation 3 as we go ahead and decide who the heir or heirs might be. If you guys would like to join us on that journey, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>